Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Tuesday, January 10th. Thomas Miller here. Thank you for joining us. We mentioned yesterday we have a pretty light day today as far as the energy shift that you may or may not feel would be the moon. How sensitive to the moon are you? It moves into Virgo this morning at 1015 Eastern Time after a 13 and a half hour void of course. But one of the things I thought I would just go through here is the sky. The sky is just so cool right now. So first of all, let's talk about the morning sky. I don't know if you would see this or not. The sun probably would wash it out. But Mercury is the oracle planet right now. It is the planet that crosses the horizon just before the sun. So if you were in a very flat location, kind of like uh, where I am, <laughs> go out to the beach and look out into the eastern horizon and you might see Mercury there before the sun comes up. Not quite sure about that. But then if you flip it to sunset, Mercury is in exactly that same position. So it descends into the darkness before the sun. That means it would be washed out. However, Venus is behind the Sun, then Saturn, then Jupiter, then Mars. That's from western horizon back to the east. So as you're looking straight up, the bright one right up overhead is Jupiter. And the big show is on that western sky is that Venus and Saturn are only, what, 12 degrees apart? So there's a wonderful show right at sunset with before Venus drops down and disappears. But if you can see it, if you got a flat location, go to the western sky because it is absolutely beautiful. And then I also love that Orion's belt is so low in the sky right now. And then Sirius down there below it, the Pleiades above it. It's just, oh, I love this sky right now. All right. Do you remember our numbers from yesterday? 12, 18, 22. So if you are looking forward to one of these planets going direct, Mars does it Thursday just before 4 p.m. Eastern in the afternoon. And I know so many of us have been feeling the Mars retrograde. I'm just wondering what Mars direct is going to be all about. Can the world handle it? Be looking in your chart, too. Do you have anything at 8 degrees or near 8 degrees? Mars has slowed down to where between now and Thursday, it will not veer off of 8 degrees. So that's where this direct station is going to take place. So you could see if you have any energy there, particularly in air signs. But if not, certainly you just look around and see, like I have my stellium is at 6 degrees. Yeah, it's close enough, especially since one of those three is Mars. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. But we'll keep it tight today. Great moon to get a lot of stuff done. Put the Virgo spin on things and crank it out over the next couple of days. You've got the energy with you. Have a great one. See you back tomorrow. Thanks so much for listening.